Hey, America, I'm Brian Terry Henry. We about to talk about change gonna come. It's sang by my Sam Cook. Get into the shit. So, our story starts in 1960, the era of free for black people in this country. We've been dealing with Jim Crow and shit, and at the same time, we're still dominating the music scene. We've been giving you like the Supremes, we give you the Temptations, we give you like Otis Redding. And so one of the people that was dominating the music scene in the biggest way was Sam Muff Cook. So Sam was known as a soul singer, but now he had crossed over to pop music. So at this point, Sam Cook is like going on tour and like he's riding on his bus. So he has this dude named J.W. Alexander. So J.W. Alexander is like, yo, I don't need you to like lose your mind right now, but you know what we're going through right now with the civil rights shit. There's a white dude out there that, that put out this song that's like kind of like changing the world, bro. So J Dubs lays this track down, and it's Bobby Dylan singing, blowing in the wind. And Sam is listening to shit like, wait, stop, wait, stop, hold up, it, stop. This song is dope, first of all. But this white dude is singing about everything that me as a black man is feeling going through this bullshit. I have to believe I can do better than that. So he like picks up a ukulele because he had a ukulele on the bus for some reason. Sam Cook? Sam Cook has a ukulele. Jack Sam? Johnson? Who the f is that? I knew you wouldn't get that. Do you know anything about Jean A? Jean Bonnet? Yeah, I think the brother. RB girl. <laughs> Change is gonna come. <laughs> so they swim his ukulele and he's like, ah oh, man, what is this song gonna be? What's this song gonna be? Ah! Uh, do something that's gonna talk about real shit. What black struggle is like. Uh, he just wasn't, it just wasn't, he couldn't figure it out. So he has to stop in Shreveport, Louisiana. So like he's driving the Louisiana the 60s, man. He's like seeing like colored only, white only. So go to this motel, because you know black people couldn't go to hotels, you go to motels. Motel, hotel. Holiday Inn! You were blacker than I thought, Derek. Like you actually have been, got my eye on you. Uh, anyway, so he's checking in, whatever, and he's got his like entourage. And he's like ding, 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 Sam Cook is here. So of course this white person's back there eating like white potato salad and shit. And so he's like, yeah. Sam is like, I'm checking in, Sam Cook. I'm like, mm, let me check, let me check, let me check through the files. Nothing here. And he's like, what are you talking about? I'm Sam Cook. You're literally like my song is on the radio right there. The the, the person behind the counter is like, I don't care, he's like a color boy to me. So Sam is like, no, this didn't. So he's like, all his friends are trying to get them together. And his wife rolls up. Sam's amazing wife, Barbara. She's like, bae, stop, bae. They don't care that you Sam Cook. Look at that fucking bland ass potato salad he's eating. <laughs> you black. We in Louisiana. They'll kill your ass. Calm down. Breathe, babe, babe, breathe. <sighs> bae. He's like, bae, you're right. And she's like, bae, I know. But at this point, the intended already called the cops. So the cops are already there. And they're like, hey, we hear that there's Negroes in here causing trouble. And the attendant is like them right there, like with the spoon with the potato salad. And like, them, <laughs> them right there, they're causing trouble. Man, Who love f with you that had potato salad. You don't understand. Bland ass potato salad is a is a cause for a riot in my life. If that shit isn't yellow, <laughs> if there's not eggs in that bitch, if there ain't no relish, if there ain't no muff, like I get out of my house. <laughs> <laughs> Anyway, so of course, they put all these dudes in jail. And so Sam was like sitting there and he's like, damn, I still ain't finished this song though. Damn, even though I'm Sam Cooke, that don't mean shit. They'll still throw me in jail and they embarrass me in front of Babs? Something's gotta change, man, something's gotta change. Boom! He's like, shit, a change gonna come. A change gonna come. So he starts writing a song in jail. Like he was like, damn, man, I was born in a tent. I wasn't even in a house, like I was by a river, you know what I'm saying? And that's how it starts. I was born by the river in little town. Oh, oh my God! Like this is the one. This this is the shit. Change gonna come. So he gets out of jail, finishes his song, and then on February seventh, nineteen sixty four, he goes on the Tonight Show with Johnny Carson to debut this masterful piece called "The Change Gonna Come." These white people are out there going crazy. Sam is like, yes, you, a change is gonna come. You, a change is gonna come. You know a change is gonna come, Sam Cook. But then, like, two days later, the Beatles performed their new singles on Ed Sullivan literature. And so, like, the Beatles kind of sold the thunder from Sam, and Sam was like, Again it happened. Another motherfucking white band stole my shine. So, you know, he decides to, like, go out. So he meets this chick named Elisa Boyer. 
She had a reputation. She was like, I can get any man I want, because, you know, look at this. I'm fine, and what I do is Elisa Boyer. So here we are, yet another motel. And they do what they do. They roll in the sack. And he's like, oh, she's like, oh my God, a change's gonna come. He's like, yeah, a change's gonna come. And the change's gonna come. And he's like, it's all fine. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> anyway, oh, Sam, forgive me. <laughs> so, Sam is at the motel. Like, he got, uh, he's, what was that? I don't know. Hopes, dreams. And, <laughs> yeah, he, he, he. So, either way, Sam Cook is in the bathroom, like, you know, just showering off. And so Elise Boyer snatches all his stuff and runs out. And like Sam opens the bathroom door, like naked, just standing there. And he's like, no, she didn't. No, did she really? So Sam throws on trench coat. He goes to the lobby. And like he's running around, and like the hotel manager like sees this dude in the trench coat. And he's like, hey, did you see this this chick come in with my stuff? I'm sitting here in the trench coat, my balls are out, and she's like, ah, penis! Oh my god! He's like, no, 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 I'm Sam Cook. Like, chill out, I'm Sam Cook. And then she just like shoots him. Like, just like shoots him. And his last words, his last words were, lady, you shot me. And that's it. It's out. And and he, the, the sad part about the whole thing is, is that he couldn't even see the success of what change is gonna come and happen. Because like after he died, change is gonna come like skyrocket. It became like it became the song of the civil rights movement. Like that song would play. It gave black people hope, and it is still relevant. God damn it! It just really lets you know the pain that like we have gone through. Like damn, being black in this country is so hard. It's just so stupid. Change needs to come. You know what change comes, Derek? I'm getting reparations right now because I got your white ass to buy me liquor. Change's already started, man. Like, so cheers to us. Amen. Change's gonna come. Cheers. Thank you, Sam. I love you. I love you, Brian. I really love you. I love you for sentimental reasons. Now I'm tingling. That was the Sam Cook song. (laughs) Oh, was it? (laughs) I knew that. Oh. (laughs) 